But tonight begins a key four game series between the Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago White Sox. Dylan sees to the mound once again. His last five against this Cleveland offense have been sterling. Well, the stuff is looking pretty good. You expect him to have a very good ball game tonight. Leading things off, Stephen Kwan will step in to get it started against the right-hander. He swings, lines it, and it's a fair ball down the right field line. Extra bases for Kwan, who's on his way to second, and he may not stop there. He won't. He's headed for third, and he'll be in with a stand-up triple. That looked like a curveball to me, and that, it goes right down the line, stays inside the bag. Juan going to stretch it out, going to get his third triple, and what a start to game number one. And now Andre Jimenez with the White Sox infield in. There's a ball driven to deep right field. That'll get down. It'll go to the wall. Scoring is Quan. Jimenez on his way to second base. He'll go in with an RBI double, and it's 1-0 Cleveland. Well, I'll tell you what, about four pitches into this game, they have already scored two extra base hits. Very strange top of the first triple double and then three quick outs. Soft contact after a couple of rockets. One nothing Guardian Sox bats coming up. Tanner Bybee will be making the start uh, today. Yeah, he seemingly is getting better with each passing start. Seven shutout innings and a win against the Phillies his last time out on Saturday. Andrew Benintendi to lead it off for Chicago delivers and a swing and a line drive to Gabriel Arias for out number one. Oh, well, you gotta love that. Tim Anderson, 11 for 18 on fastballs since the All Star break. The pitch from Bybee is tapped to third right there. Ramirez up with it, throws on to first in time for the out. Two quick outs for Tanner Bybee here in the bottom of the first inning. Here's Luis Robert, an All Star for the White Sox. Swing and a miss. They got him to go fish, and Bybee gets his first strikeout. The White Sox go one, two, three. And the White Sox go one, two, three on just nine pitches here in the second. And the Guardians lead one to nothing. Six up, six down for Bybee. And the top two guys are combined four for four already. And now it's first and second. Nobody out after the bunt single from Andre Simenez. And it'll be the shortstop to make the catch way out in the outfield grass. No advance by the runners. So one down for Josh Naylor. Some of his best games have been in this ballpark. Hammer right field line fair ball into the corner it goes. Juan will score. Jimenez is going to be waved home. Burgers going to make no throw to the plate and it's a two run double for Josh Naylor in a three nothing Guardians lead. Well that was a huge hit right there just to open it up and I mean he turned on that pitch. There you go is Sarbaugh being aggressive early. They have three on the board already and a chance to get another one. Bell draws the walk and the Guardians now have runners at first and second with one away and and Will Brennan coming up and he smoked the double to left center his first time up. 2 1 pitch line oh, drive base oh, hit right baby. field around third Josh Naylor will be waved home. Colossus throw to the plate not in time ball got away and down to second goes Will Brennan and Brennan gets the job done with an RBI base hit. The Guardians now lead it 4 0. Berger with 22 home runs and 48 runs driven in. This is the breakthrough year for him. Berger hits a high fly ball, deep right field. Brennan's back at the wall. It's a home run. A Berger bomb, and they're on the board. That's number 23 for Jake Berger. I believe 15 have come in this ballpark. Shows you how lively the park is because he didn't get a whole lot of that one and he was able to take it over the head of Brennan and out to make it a four to one game. Tanner Bybee has been brilliant thus far four innings he's given up one hit that was a solo homer to Jake Berger. Randolph fly to left his only time up. Yes yeah, has himself a base hit. Right. Lead off single was the second hit for the Sox. Jake Berger the batter homer first time up. Jake Berger again. It's a double burger. Well, if you'd like to know why Pedro Grafal is allowing him to play second base, you're seeing just a graphic illustration of why. Because he has unbelievable power. 
That one he seemingly hit straight up in the air and it just never came down. Quan looked at it, realized that he wasn't going to get to it, and it's a four to three game. Oh, and Jimenez just got drilled, a sinker in the midsection. Oof. Right around the ribs, and he's on his feet, but that one had to hurt. Yeah. There's no hide in that one. He just let that one go way too early, and that got him right in the oblique. Jose Ramirez at the plate. He's 0 for 3 tonight. There he goes. There you go. Right out, right out time to get to the center yeah. field. And Jimenez alertly watching behind him to see if the ball would go through. It did. Jake Berger, mm -hmm. the neophyte second baseman, couldn't block it or knock it down. And now you've got a big run out there at third base with nobody else. I really like it now, Andre. <laughs> Jose Ramirez down on strikes huge strikeout for bummer. Well now it's Josh Naylor who drove in a pair with a double earlier in the game. Just like that. Oh we got through. How do you <laughs> like that. Go, a single, go. High single off the bag at second Naylor into second base <laughs> with the craziest seeing eye RBI double you will ever see. <laughs> That's the softest double he's ever hit. See, good things do happen when you put the ball in play. 57 miles an hour. Yeah, 57. Wow. Couldn't even get a speeding ticket wow. with it. But it got through. And boy, what a way to add an insurance run right there. Gabriel Arias, the batter. Arias, one for two with a walk. Shoots Look it to right this. field again. Fair ball down the chalk. Man, oh man, his last two swings have been outstanding. And he fumbled with the ball, did Colas, and all the way to third goes Arias, and he's in there safely. I think that might be a double and an error. Yeah, he never broke stride, but no, it, that's it was true. definitely a misplay by Colas. So the error gives the Guardians a chance to add another big insurance run here. Oh, an eight up grand all line drive RBI single by Bo Naylor. That ball was scalded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you look at their right side of the infield, but you got Berger at second, you got Grandal, who's a catcher at first. That ball was hit hard. He went for the backhand, and he couldn't hold on to it. Six times out of eight innings the Guardians have gotten the leadoff runner on and that's why they have been able to punch across six runs. Emmanuel Class A on to try and finish this one up for Cleveland. 27 saves if he can lock this one down he'll move into a first place tie for the league lead. Chopped to short high hop for Arias throws to first in time for the out two pitches one down. Now Jake Berger and the two were home runs a solo shot in the third two run blast in the fifth. Jimenez quick release throws him out two down. Two quick outs for Emmanuel Class A. Oscar Colas is the last hope for Chicago to keep this one alive. Left side base hit Colas keeps it alive on a two strike single. And they will hit for Zavala Gavin Sheets. A base hit. Colas into third. The time run will come to the plate. Nice job by Gavin Sheets getting on a neck high cutter. We've seen him do that before. And a tying run coming up. It's Andrew Benintendi. How about this? Book it. Wow. He took a hundred mile an hour fastball right down Michigan Avenue. And this one goes to the Guardians as they stay. Red hot and they go over the 500 mark now at 52 and 51 on the year.